Nebraska versus Arizona State. The Sun Devils came out on top, but were tested by the Cornhuskers. I'm Anne Marie Anderson alongside Amanda Freed. Amanda, in the first inning, Arizona State's bats got hot. They did, and it started with Howell with a monstering home run over that center field fence. Jump started with an RBI. Arizona State continued to hit Becerra, a nice line drive into left field. Five run lead for the Sun Devils. But then it was so much fun to watch what was happening with this athlete, Gortar, is what she was able to do on the base pass and was electric. Yeah, she really just coming from a baseball background has incredible instincts in terms of base running. You had to keep your eye on her at all times. She was so aggressive and so much fun. And just when you think she makes a miscue, she makes up for it with how aggressive she is and the instincts watching drop balls, making runs happen. She really breathed life into that Arizona State offense. But then in the fourth inning, Nebraska got their bats going. They were down 5 nothing at one point. Fourth inning, they got it going. And Arizona State, more great work. A double play. Maha fired up. And then Bree Cassidy comes up, and she goes deep over the left field fence. That's a three-run home run for the catcher. That brings Nebraska within one from Arizona State. Arizona State ends up scoring another insurance run going into the seventh inning, and then Giselle Juarez in her third inning of relief finishes the game with a big strikeout. Sun Devils with a win over the Corn Huskers. Six hits, six runs, and they come back tomorrow for a couple more games at the Kajikawa Classic. So long from Tempe.